Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing a stipulation draft by none other than Violated Gorilla. The 69, the, <laughs> the stip is 69, dude. The total debt converted mana cost must be 69. X is equal 1. Example, 23 playables at 3 converted mana cost equals 69. I may sideboard out of the 69 if necessary. So, so you don't have to keep it after sideboarding. Yeah, our main deck has to be 69 total CMC. So it looks like we're going to be drafting a nice one today, boys. Mike, I'll make you a replacement thing. I'm not a jeweler, <laughs> so it'll just be a copper wire wrapped around an amethyst. You know? Oh. Oh. Is it crypt or... S oh, that's really close. I don't actually know which one. I think it's sapphire. Probably because blue's stronger. Yeah, also taking three damage can be rough. And it's color. Yeah. All right, so we got a freebie here, I guess. I think. I don't think Mana Crypt is greater than Mox. I think it depends on your deck, but I think first pick in the dark, I'd probably just go with Mox. Yeah, so XX is two. That's what he mentioned. He mentioned, like, Walking Bliss is two. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take, take Mox. So every X equals a one for however many. Oh, geez. This is also a, a fat pack. I'm going to take Treachery, I think. Can't take Blightseal. That's 11. That's, like, a lot of the oh, deck. Oh, it's 12. Oh, it's 12. Sitting in the waiting room. If we're playing a normal draft, I would just take Grizzly Bizzly. If they're playing a normal draft, doing then Grizzly again, Bizzly. Treachery can get Grizzly Bizzly. So is it better? Yeah, because you just let them play it, and then we'll take it. Mox into Treachery is pretty pretty decent. All right, this is wow! Look at that. This is loaded. amazing. What look the wizard Mike? Look. Yeah, yeah, boy. All right, so this is the deck we're going to be playing later. This is the Super Fritz deck. Like at midnight? Look at all these fires. Midnight? Why would yeah. we play at midnight? You said later, so I wanted to push that envelope. So let's see what we got here. We got four Gross Spirals, which is basically in every deck. Three Euro, which is basically in every deck. Two Narsets, three Teferis, three Clarions. What Shadow of the Sky do you? Destroys creatures. Our pack is up though, so we're gonna do that. Right, we'll, we'll look at that. Oh, later. we got a demo. Uh, it's pretty strong. Got tundra. Yeah, we're not necessarily white yet. I'll take tundra. I mean demo. It know. just gets two. It's just basically two of your best card at all times. That it's broken. two of your best card at all times. Yeah, because it is your best card whenever you. Switch. Oh, you have two so of them in your deck, is what you're just saying. Just a duplicate, basically. I want to take misty rainforest here. Uh, yeah, nothing super strong in this pack. Why ultimate is main and not fave wishes? I don't know. We'll fave. go with that later. We'll talk about it later. See how I said what Michael said. Oh man, we kind of entombed Gristle Busy. I feel like Reanimator is a little bit, a little bit strong, a little bit dangerous because this, the deck count. Yeah, yeah, because you're because you're, you're gonna be like eight, nine, ten, eleven, yeah, yeah, and you're like, yeah, oh. True. So, I think we just take Toxic. Not only if you sing the Britney Spears song. Which one? Toxic. <laughs> I don't really know the words. Really? You could have fooled me. It sounded like you knew the... All, <laughs> like, like the whole... I know the general way it goes. I, I know, know the way it much. goes. I'm going to take Sylvan Library, and we're just going to be Sultai with Misty Rainforest Mox Snapfire. Oh, I'd be tempted, tempted to take Conscripts. Yes, yeah, Library is probably stronger. It's close. Well, I think Saltai is better than Grixis generally. In this Arby's game. Elf. You ever go to Arby's, Michael? Once what do you, What's your go-to at Arby's? Beef and Cheddars? God, he loves those Beef and Cheddars. No, they're Rubens passable. That sounds impassable. <laughs> do we tap Elf Boy? Oh, he only taps Forest, though. That can be awkward. Right. What about Beast Within? Isn't that just better than Ultimate Price? N no. Because I don't want to give them a 3-3 three, three a lot of times. Are you sure? I'm sure I don't want to give them a 3-3, three, three, yes. Okay. I also just like Frost Titan. I'm going to go with Ultimate Price. I just think it's... Oh, we should be tracking the CMC. Um, I mean, like, we can just we can just track it after we build it. Like, it's not going to affect our picks this early, right? Like, going from 11 to 14 gives us no information. You know what I mean? Like, it has no bearing on the... But like, All right, we only have 50, 50 pips left, you know? Yeah, could it, but it could make certain choices bad, though, right? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Here, I'll just track it just to... Beer man, what do you mean negative one right now? I'm going to take Edric. Eureka. Oh, Inquisition Two, seems good. Four, six, one, three, 
I got 18 so far. What do you guys mean negative three? I don't know what you're saying right now. Oh, I have six hundred and ten, eleven, twelve. Do they mean if everything else costs one or something weird? That's four. You rig those gas. Can I just Avenger here? He'd be expensive. He'd be good though. Oh, you're talking about averages is what you're talking about. That's that seems like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then nine here, so plus I don't know. I think alright, I guess it's because we're gonna have not Take corpse stance, I guess. Like oh we also don't necessarily have to play all the cards we take. Also I don't feel like doing this anymore, so I'm not gonna Right, that's what I mean. Like I don't know why you started. <laughs> like it's just gonna be too hard. Oh, Beastie Boy came back. <coughs> Nothing. Delta. Delta seems good here. Put on my blue sweet shoes and put in a plane. Touch now. I'm not putting on your show Down shoes, right? That's weird. Oh, Jason Mind Sculptor. And Fallen Shinobi. And a Force of Will and a Cosgate. This pack is good. Oh, God. It's got to be Jace, right? Yeah, I think Jace is probably the best card. He's the best card. I like Rex Sage a lot. It's also Vindicate, but we don't have any white lands yet. So yeah, probably Sage. <laughs> There's also a figure of Destiny. No, see, I named a card that's good, not a card that's bad. Oh, okay. There's also Porcelain Legionnaire. Okay, see again, I named a card that was good. <laughs> I don't know what your problem is, man. In the middle of the Michael Bees. <laughs> Tireless Tracker is probably the best. Van Dillon clicked good too. Kind of like Regisaur. He just beats. What? That dude beats hard. You want to discard a card every turn? Also, I think I'd rather have click than tracker. Sometimes you gotta rip something out of their hand, you know? It's a good effect. Oh, Karn, how does he skew? Oh, I'll take Fintorn Elves, actually. Yeah, Mana Dorks are good. In the middle of the pouring rain. I'll take Sword. You never know, we might play it if we get enough Deidre's. Oh, I mean, we already have Yawgmoth and Edric, so I'm kind of hoping for like Bitter Blossom here somewhere. Bitter Blossom Thank is chick. Gamma said, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. And oh, Ufio Mancer is good with Thran. It's also an animate dead, but meh. Meh. There's a Lushnorn. That's your favorite. I do like that card a lot. Heartbeat sucks ass. Yeah, it was a joke. Yeah, it was a joke. Better was a joke. Better was a joke. Better was a joke. Five. <coughs> 813. Oh, Clamp actually would be pretty good for 14, us here, 15, 15, in 15, theory. It's only 39, so we still have like 30 Dang pips you. left, so. D. Lee, thank you so much for the, for the gifted subs, my dude. Really appreciate it, man. Wow, thank Dang you, dude. I appreciate you a ton, man. Thank you so much, dude. Wow, that's wild. Carney T is a good sideboard. Thank right. you. This, this card's main deckable, man. You ever play this card? He used to always hate on my suggestion for that card. What is he Thank talking you. about? Look, Vindicate, you love this card. I do. It's very good. I do. It's very good. Thank you. It's a lot of subbies. Yeah. Remember public subs, Thank man? You. Oh, God. They're so good. Thank you. They put anything on it for you, man. You can go nuts. You could probably get nuts on your sub. You Thank could. you. <clears throat> we don't have that here. Yeah, I'm aware. I know. Thank you. 
I am well aware of your lack of Publix. Thank, man. Thank you so much, dude. That's wild. Also, hey, man. Yes, man. So I learned a life hack yesterday. Oh, God. I bet he did. Want to hear it? I'd love it. So if you don't eat all of your pizza, the next <laughs> day you can have lunch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I've been telling you this for fucking years, dude. It's a pretty good strat. You know, it's funny. Like, I was eating. It also saves calories for the day. I also got a pizza today, and I had, like, three slices. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I have no fuck. After two, I was kind of full. And I was like, I have no fucking idea how you can eat a whole pizza, a whole deep dish Little Caesars pizza in one sitting. I have no idea, dude. Yeah, I think I'm going to, from now on, stop at through five or six. (laughs) Which is still a lot. Yeah, but I'm also a bigger dude than you. Oh, well, okay. Well, I think one of the things you you make sure. Oh, Lodi boy. Oof. We got some power, boys. Oh, yeah, we're taking that. Hope that comes back. I mean, it won't. Or it might. Nah, I doubt. I don't know, man. People don't be respecting Scarab God. That is a zero. <laughs> Did you guys realize the Publix is super close to Pube X? Um, I never realized that. Where I don't are think. Doolands, man? I don't you know. Underground see bad. Well, or a tro- You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. It's just the colors. The you, we need the colors. Sheldock. I'm honestly a little worried about our current mana cost because we have 30 to fill out and we have one pack to do it. So this is 21. Uh, this is 29. 32. 33, 35, 67, 38, 39, 40, 41. 42, 44, 45, 47, 48, 49, 50, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, Everything that targets thing in this format is all hard removal anyway. So, but copying artifacts is pretty good. Yeah, you can copy their Grim Monolith, man. You know what? Let's try it out. So does it count as four or three? It counts as four. Okay. Oh, that's... There's also Water Grave. Uh, I'm taking the drop. <clears throat> we're more black. And, yeah, we're less blue, so, yeah. I don't know. I think drop is a better land. That's what I'm going with. We want green early for elves, too. Yeah, I like drop better. It's close, though. Thank oh, I like euro. Sure. Johnny Magic, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Send him on down to rat train. Send him on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> I'm going to take Questing Beast. This guy's actually very good. Yeah. Um, See, I've never, oh. I've never seen Sheldak do anything in any stream by anyone. Why is everyone so high on it? Oh, that's wild. I don't know. I've seen that is, plenty of busted Yeah, stuff. that is not, that is not my experience. I feel like every time our opponent has it, it's just insane. Yeah, here's Thank Downfall's you. good. Oh, Garrick's good too, though. Yeah, but how much removal we got? Oh, Dealy with it, with your own resub. Thank you so much, dude. How much removal do we have? One, two, two, uh, it looks like. Deluge. Ultimate price. Yeah, not a ton. Yeah, I think we want the downfall. I'm going to take, take this guy out. He does not seem yeah. to be fitting. Oh, uh, scavenging is actually probably fine. Yeah. Is Rad Train a place or a thing? Exactly. Use ranges from eh to insane. Depending on your opponent. Means, oh, that's true. Yeah, Trop is just better because it lets you get all three colors with your fetch land. Yeah, yeah. So Trop was correct. What? Did Dealey say something about... Oh, thanks for three years of entertainment. I'm moving out of my med school apartment today to go on an ex- externship. Hold on, there's a pack rat <coughs> here. Sure. Uh, when Corona lets me. One more year until doctor and there's a lot more to come. Love everything. Dude, Dealey, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Congrats. Nice. Katie is also in her internship for, for veterinary medicine, so. Oh, I want to take Shriek Maw. All right. Hey, Hunter Boy. I actually like Shriek Maw more than one of these guys. I don't know. I like Acidic Slime more than one of these guys. Sure. I agree with that. In the Skuzy m- seems good, though. I don't know. Who? I think I'd rather board in Thrag Tusk and play Skuz main. This is not Skuz. This is Skuz. 
Okay, I meant buy, <laughs> I might buy gen booze. Okay, Boo. booze. <laughs> I'd rather play booze in the main deck. I think it's better to board in Thrag Disc. I think it's better to board in Thrag Disc. All right, we're gonna have to make some changes because John's telling us it's seventy five now. You wanna go out? You want Mike to take you out? <laughs> I bet you do. Oh, Kitchen Hanks is playable. Mike B, your life hack is correct, but have you ever tried just buying two pizzas? Okay. No one human being should ever consume two pizzas, and that's coming from me. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with you. The... I'm going to be a foot and ankle surgeon, hopefully somewhere in the Midwest, wherever I match. Dude, that's awesome. Surgeon. Man, surgery is wild. The concept of letting someone mutilate you yeah like i had crazy i had back surgery like when i was that's real scary. 25 right or like a while ago and it's weird to think that i was laying on a table and my back and my spinal cord like my back was exposed was exposed and like my spinal cord was right if there it wasn't someone doing surgery and you were in that position you'd just be dead right that's what's weird <laughs> about it right like because of modern medicine like somehow i'm alive during this and they're fixing me and they're like they had like like i have actually like um, brackets on my on my back on my spine so like they had to like drill into my fucking spinal cord yeah that's pretty crazy and it's all metal brackets and then seal me back up yeah you're part robot like it's so weird man okay how much is this count. this is 26 4 8 12 16 what is that 26 36 42 uh, 41, no, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh, so 42, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 59, 60, 60, 60, 65. Is it 65? I think you might have miscounted. Let's Is just, it 75? Just, I'm going to do a calculator. He's going to do a calculator. All right, so we got Carney T is 6. Plus we got 5, 10, 15, 20, plus 20. Plus four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Plus three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Plus sixteen. Plus two, four, six, eight, ten. I did the other. Oh, one. you're doing the back row. Okay, my bad. Plus two. Yeah, we're at seventy-five. Okay, so we just we can actually take out Carnage Tyrant and be good, right? Uh, yeah, we just need to cut a six drop. Yeah. Hmm. Six man. Is that what we want to do? And this is more like a two drop. I think, I think we fine. can still win games, right? Like off of bribery and one, and treachery, rather. And Euro. I think we probably have enough stuff, yeah. Yeah, I think our deck seems fine. This is a nice top. The Yawgmoth is questionable, though. Yeah, we're not going to really want to sack dudes, right? Oh, Ophiomancer. Now we have Ophiomancer. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that actually seems fine. Also, like, if you if you evoke Shriekmaw, you can you sack can it. in response, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's actually not bad. You can sack Thrag Tusk and we get two. All right. All right, what 69. If, what? Well, they pay booze over Dark Dusk. Okay. All right. I think it's better to board it in when it's good. In the middle of the pouring rain. The only problem with our deck is I think it's fair. But we didn't really see unfair stuff. fucking Lotus there. and Mox Sapphire, man. There ain't nothing fair about that. Yeah, but we're using it to cast Nothing fair, fair about spells. it, Michael. I gotta add mana. That's a good idea. You're so smart. <laughs> Buddy, thank you. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm fine with that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So six, four, three. Is that right? So 13. No, that's one too many. Five, six, seven, three. Four, you five, have eight six, black. seven, what eight. What are you talking about? Wait, where's the eight? Five plus six. Shores. Se seven, eight. Misty doesn't get you. Misty. Oh, we don't have a. Yeah, we don't Misty have a doesn't get okay, no, no. okay, so yeah. Five, six, seven. Actually, oh. I think it's one less of these. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is five, six, seven. And this is four, five, six, seven. This is seven, seven, seven. I think that's actually fine. Oh, and we get one more? Shoot. Probably a swamp. Really want eight swamps? I think so. We have a lot of black cards. Most of our cards are black. And we have elf that's early. Also, we want skews and library. I don't know. It's close. 
Oh, actually, that's interesting. Okay, cool. We actually, by removing Carnage Tyrant, we actually only have 22 cards. So we get to, like... <clears throat> so Lotus is just a spell in our deck. Which I think is fine. Probably won't get mana screwed as much. Because it's still like 16... Six, it's like 17 lands and a Lotus instead of 16 lands and a, and a Lotus. Yeah. <coughs> so I'm fine with that. Mid-range, Michael. It's pronounced mid-ranged. Yeah, I mean, the problem, the only problem with this format is if you play mid-range and your opponent's playing Broco stuff and you have counter spells, it's kind of rough. What up, Elrond Scrubber? Beards are going wild. I'll be back. Beards are dogs. Beards are dogs. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Have you ever been down to Nap Train? God, yeah, he's been down to Nap Train before. Talking about me? Yeah. yeah I haven't I taken a nap in several days. Well, bless your fucking heart, Michael. <laughs> hey, man, you like the king of naps. I don't want to hear shit. I haven't had a nap in, like, two weeks, man. My sleep schedule is all messed up. I was sleeping for, like, four hours a night, so I napped. You sleep for ten hours, and then you nap. Nah, he don't. Bitch, I haven't gotten over six hours of sleep in probably a week. Yeah, that's because you've been playing poker every night, because you, no, you have no discipline. You think, I wouldn't, you think I wouldn't be up that late anyway? Yes, you were going to bed at, like, 11 regularly. Before no. poker, you were going to bed regularly at like 11, 11.30. No, that didn't work. That didn't happen either. I was probably getting close to like seven hours before. Unbelievable. Also, who needs sleep when you can earn money? <laughs> I mean, some people. Also, usually on the weekends, I catch up on sleep, so whatever. Are they going to counter this? Didn't think so. Yeah, I didn't think so. Also, if the cost of me winning literal hundreds of dollars Oof. is losing one hour of sleep a night, it's fair. I'll take it. Yeah, that's fair. As the kids say, lit, grind, 100, you know. <coughs> oh, feel man, sir. Whoa, whoa. Look at this four-color deck we're playing against that hasn't cast a spell yet. All right, don't die. Oh, it's dead. All right, don't die. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> okay. That's acceptable. Mike, you saving up a ring? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. He needs a new butt ring. I'm saving up for getting less debt. Good gravy. Come on, something. I didn't know what I wanted there, so I just said, come on, something. <clears throat> the problem with Ophium Answer is even if you even if you copy it, it doesn't do anymore. It never makes two snakes. One time I had a Stone Cold Serpent out in Ophium Answer, and I was like, where's my snake? And it was like, you already got a snake. And I was like, dang. Tap At the beginning wrong? of each upkeep, if you don't have a snake, make a snake. Well, I wanted to bluff two things. I didn't really... If you already have a snake, double your snakes. That'd be a fair card, right? No. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that be That's fair. like the Cranko of snakes. The snake -o. You don't even got to tap it? Jeez, that'd be good. It's wild. It's a wild time we're living in, man. It's wild times. I say it's a good thing I, I don't design magic cards, but... You know, lately, they've really been pushing it. <laughs> it's really, man. Whoa, how much harm can you really do? <clears throat> well, you start the game with nine cards instead. Mm. Oh. 
What? No, that's not very good. Now you can have two companions. And there's no requirement. Oh, if you have a divine visitation, you do get tokens each turn. Because the first snake turns into an angel. How biblical. You might say they send you an angel. Ophiomancer snake is a jealous snake and don't want to help you if you're, gall if you're gallivanting with other snakes. This is just rude. Well, this is a little rude. But, uh... Butter? That could I be, love some butter. It could be much worse later on. Yeah, I guess I'm fine with them just drawing two. It's just a divination at that point. You're an angel. <laughs> Wish I was my Keyword man. entourage. Start this card along with a companion. Wow. Do hmm. it. Do it. Do what? Do it. What am I doing? I'll just take eight. Eight? Yeah. They're not aggressive. You don't know what Pink they are. They value. Coward. <laughs> <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Is that your Muttley? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I messed up. I could just make up a mechanic called Companion 2. And then you, you play that card. Uh, it's just your second companion that you can have. I don't even want to cast this right now. Also, I last night, I think I probably could have got first if I didn't make a really a really bad hero call. Hero call? Yeah. It's when you call with basically nothing. I call with Jack High. Oh, you're just trying to be a hero. Yeah. Here comes Torrential Gush. Here comes Torrential Gush. Generally, kids, don't call with Jack High. It usually doesn't work out. But I just felt like he was bluffing me. I don't know. Well, I guess he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He you was doing a lot sucker. of bluffing most of the game. The correct play actually would have been to shove on him because then he would have folded. But Sorry, I got to be better about throwing around poker terms that no one understands but me. Or, you know, people that actually play poker a lot. I thought of a mechanic. It's called Secret Best Friend. It's a creature you can cast for free if your opponent has more lands than <coughs> you. Wow. Well, here we go, guys. I know they were they were doing nothing. Manic Monday. Don't Whoa. like where this is going. No, nope. oh, sir. We're in danger. That's not the one. <laughs> I'm in danger. Wish I had a... Right, let me know. I'm going to take a small nap. Let me know when you're posted. Okay. Underworld Breach. No, I wish I had a... Hey, man. You know Yagamath's spell is pretty good? Let's make it two mana instead of three. <laughs> the card's wild. But the you have to exile cards in your graveyard. <laughs> Actually, doesn't matter. Cards bust out. Cool. Hmm. <sighs> the Lotus Sandbag. No, don't <laughs> like that. There's like no way we're not dead here. They could whiff. Unless they literally don't have a storm card in hand or relying on draw spells. It's like our only shot. Can you cast Gush alternate cost from the graveyard? You can't do that, right? Who? Gush? Yeah. No. It and says it's converted mana cost. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, six, seven, eighteen. They can bane fire us for seventeen. <coughs> That'd be really funny if they were one shy. One shart. 
Yeah, I wouldn't share it. I mean, they could explosion expansion us, sure, sure, but. And they only need one more storm count to tendril this, though. I don't, I don't know, man. Actually, they don't. They just cast tendrils. That counts as self derp. Amateur hour. What are you going to do? Gain two, lose two. That's kind of like a sure. storm copy. I mean, I'm not going to concede unless I see the storm card. However, they could just expansion explosion us for like. Okay, there cool. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> That'll do, pig. You guys have just witnessed why I don't have storm in my cube. Cause Stick it out. I don't think we ever had it though, right? Because oh. it's unfun as shit. Yeah, unless you have counter spells, it's just like, well, they either win or they just do nothing. That's the whole game. Can we get any more aggressive? Not really. Our deck is not built for that. Maybe yeah, play Edric. Okay. Over five drop. Over five drop? Sure. Oh, I guess I submitted. <clears throat> yeah, well, that's a thing, all right. It's, uh, it's something. It's something, all right. If we hit a creature, I'm pretty sure this does a good job. If I want that feeling, I'll just play Slay the Spire. Every time I play against Storm, we witness why it's not in your cube. Same reason it's not in mine. Yeah, it's just not a... I mean, it's 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 a fun experience for the person going off in the Storm deck. Like, I agree with that. But, like, it's kind of miserable for every other human being that's that's on the receiving end. Mike B, did you see the Storm deck last, line, last <coughs> night? No, I missed that one. If a rad train is leaving Chicago at 6 p.m. going 60 miles per hour and another rad train leaves, who gets there first? What, where does the second rad train leave? Also, I'm I got missing some, a few bearables there. Bearables? Bearables. That sounds unbearable. I'm going to do that and bounce their idiot. That seems good. <clears throat> oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's why it's holding up because how much LED costs. Wait, what are you saying right now? Uh, Bro, it's a cube. You can use proxies. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure my entire cube is uh, not LED. Uh, is pretty. I think LED is not really out, out of the realm of possibility for my cube. Also, aren't LEDs like... I mean, they're expensive, but they're not that expensive, right? They're like I have no... Bucks? If that, I don't even know. Who cares? It might have gone... It might have spiked because of the stupid... Uh, lur 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 Luris. Yeah, Luris. Oh, Lion's Eye. I guess I gotta add <laughs> Diamond or else it's I got a real weird. Yeah, like 200. That's not really that unreasonable for a magic card. No, it's not. Especially if you're building a cube. I remember buying LED for $4. Hope you kept them. What a time to be alive. I mean, it's certainly not cheap, but if you only need one for a cube, it's not that unreasonable. I feel like if we untap, we're in okay shape. I also feel that way. But we could also just die, so there's that. Not with four mana, I don't think. I think it's. I think they're a little far, but... Uh, you say that, but... I know. I know. Buddy, I know. They just have, like, ritual, ritual. Boy, I'll tell you what. More like shit you will, am I right? Fast mana is just kind of a... Kind of poor design.
What's poor design? Your mom. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, I had to. It was an automatic response. I said good gravy. Let me see what's in your hand. I still have all my old cards. I wish they weren't all blacktop. What does blacktop mean? Oh, this is what you got? Blacktop? Blacktop beating down. Michael B lives under the ground. I got nothing here, guys. Oh, yeah, we're milling you. Oh, look at those cards in the temporary zone. Get in the zone! Temporary zone! It is a little awkward because it makes their underworld breach really good, but... Yeah, but then it, like, hits their win conditions. It's a bit of a give and take. It also turns on their dark petition. Yeah, probably plus. We don't have counter spells, so what are we hoping to draw? We already have a th the threats, right? We don't um, need more pressure. Yeah, I don't know. That's the problem, though. Dark petition gets pretty much anything here. They can't Yawgmoth. We don't have any more hand disruption, do we? I just think I, I still think getting the cards in hand. Oh, Rex Sage is good. Plague Crafter is good. It hits a card of theirs. <clears throat> one, two, one, two, three, four. Let's put Swamp and Yawgmoth back. All right, bargain's gone. Sure. Dark Bargle. UE4? Seeing, what are you guys saying right now? You guys are talking about... Now they probe. Now they can see if the way is clear. We do only have four cards, though. Well, we know all four of them. Well, five with the thing, but... So they got ten rolls? That's I gone. don't think they can get there. And they're probably going to Dark Petition here. But then they have no red. So that's awkward because this is their red. And they're, like, they either have double black or they have Desperate Ritual. They literally can't do both of these. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they can win. <laughs> UB40 is the engine that uses reggae beats. Oh, man. Ran, ran away. They're going to they're gonna Dark Petitch. You got it. I guess they get Lotus, but that doesn't work either, right? I don't know, man. What does that do? They don't have red, so what? Well, I mean, they could tendril for four. I guess that buys them time. I mean, they could they could actually play. Uh, they could just get Underworld Breach for next turn. I guess. I, mean, I guess we don't have thirteen on board. We can make two rats in theory. That's nine. Because it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rats can't attack, man. Makes, right. I'm makes, talking about the active rat. I know. I'm just talking. I'm just telling you that they can't attack. Breach, I know. You think I was born yesterday? thinking about this. It's a Thran. It's your Thran, man. Well, Beast Within actually seems great here. Wow, that's a good draw. One, two, three, four. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think nuking a red black source seems good. Oh, no, I was just going to nuke their underworld breach when they played it. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. I didn't think about that. Oh, there it is. So, well, that's gone. Ancestral Recall? Oh, crying out loud. What a wild deck. So, they have four cards in hand and five. There's a Yog... I guess... Jeez, did they get Yogmoth's Will? I should probably take that dude out. Oh, yeah, he, that's... He probably got to go. Yeah, I'll take him out. Appreciate it. God, maybe we do get rid of one of their things if they have Yogmoth's Will in hand. Well, yeah, we know. You kill land. I think it's your only choice. Let's count their lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty, fifteen. So there's two lands: a lotus, a tendrils, and a ritual. <coughs> land, land, lotus. So it's five cards. We know five of these nine cards. We also saw duress game one. So we know there's a duress in there too. If they have Yogmoth, they only get to play one, so that actually could be good. Yeah, because Underworld Breach is in the graveyard, so I think this is the best choice. Oh, it costs one less. And that is. All right. All right. We know six of the nine cards they have access to. I mean, Yogmoth's Will would be the worst card they could have, I think, for us. And we're just hoping Lotus is one of the four in the deck and not one of the two unknowns in the hand. Three unknowns in the hand. Take the red black land. And of course it fucking is. Yep. So now we just have to sit here and see if they can figure out a win. I mean, with Lion's Eye Diamond and things like Manamorphose. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. They have Lotus and Yogmoth's Will. Of course they do. Of course they do. Thank you. Violated Gorilla, welcome back, my dude. So they have one card in the deck? Interesting. So this is six. And we know they have tendrils in their hand. <clears throat> so they can't actually crack Lion's Eye Diamond and tendrils, which is interesting. So... Yep, that's seven. This will be eight, which puts them to 16. I guess they can, anc they can Ancestral us. That seems funny. Seething Song with two blacks. So nine, we go to one. Do you have one more card you can play? Seven, yep, you can just play Mana Flare and then kill us. Amazing. Literally zero cards in their library. <laughs> Wait, what? Yep. 
cool. <sighs> Never don't have it all. Sorry guys, a little salty about that one. They literally have five cards in their deck. One of them has to be... If they have nine... They have access to nine cards in their deck. One has to be Lotus. The other has to be Yogmoth's Will. And they have both, so... This hand's not exciting, but... Unfortunately, we can't get a black source with this. It rained so hard while I was in the gym that the city street was ankle deep. Are you serious? Whoa, that's crazy. That's wild. That street's wilding out like Michael B. I do tend to wild out. Oh, see, this is nice because now we get to second turn Rex Sage against this thing. Oh, man, they're probably so excited, too. And they're like, it's going to be gravy. And I'm like, put that gravy in the Still garbage. No, Michael, we just lost. I wasn't here for it. That's why I asked for oh, it. Oh, good. That's good. Rub it in. Make me feel bad. <laughs> Unbelievable. God. Thank you. I hope they kept the one-lander. Dave oh, McBeardy face. Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. I hope they kept a one-lander. Here comes Pyroclasm. They're going to wipe our dudes away. Oh, they're going to... They got some... They got some faiths. Faiths fetters. I feel like it might not be. Might not be what? In this cube. Pyroclasm? Yeah. We've literally played it before. Not to my knowledge. <coughs> Guys, someone find me a clip of me and Mike be playing Pyroclasm. I'm sure it's happened, but this is a new cube. It could not be in there. It, it's happened you in pitched the... Pitched a Kozlik. And then they shuffled it back in. Ancestral Recall. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, they did Faithful Sitting and then they pitched Kozilek, so if they're Faithful Sitting, fe cycled, uh, returned back into their deck. That's pretty cool. I mean, my hand's not very exciting, but that's okay. Hey, that's okay. Yeah, I did keto for a little while, and as someone who doesn't eat a lot of meat, it's very, very difficult. Yeah, you got to be pretty into the protein. I mean, there's probably some way to do it, but it seems real rough if you're not eating meat. No, I was eating, like, um, salads with grilled chicken and cheese sticks for most of my meals. <laughs> Sounds about right. It was just like, I was like, oh, God, there's got to be a better way. I mean, keto's not for everybody. There's plenty of diets. Oh, look at this guy. Orange Rock Treachery. That doesn't do anything against that guy. <sighs> Man, this one porcelain legionnaire is really holding us back here. That's wild. MVP. Hey, on the plus side, you can exile your Uro to gain one life and put a plus one counter in your Q2. That way you can still not properly attack or block. So you got that going for you. That's a weird set of cards. Porcelain Legionnaire and the Thran Dynamo. Maybe they're like a Tolarian deck. Oh, Fio. Oh, Fio. You know that? You know that from you know from uh, from Hook? Bro, that's like one of my favorite movies. Is it really? Yeah. It's nostalgia, but <laughs> whatever, man. I know it's not objectively a good film, but I enjoy it. I think keto is not a long-term sustainable diet. I mean, it depends. There's people who do it. All diets are hard to sustain over a long time. 
Oh, that's a lot more of a problem. Whatever, I got Shriek Mall. You sure do, buddy. You sure do. Toxic Deluge. One more. I oh, need two more. One, two, three. We're a really green shy here, too. I don't know what vegans exists mean. You can also be a fat vegan. So. Veganism sounds unsustainable, but isn't. Hmm. I don't know why it sounds unsustainable, but... I guess if you don't know much about it, it can be, but there's plenty of ways to get all your protein and fats and all that. Well, that guy's pretty good. At least now we got a Shriekmon target. Oh boy, what a tr what a good trade off. That seems fine. Uh, I don't think I eat anything here. Oh, this is an ooze too. Oh, that's wild. I didn't realize that guy got counters from the friggin' biogenic from the other. That's probably why he killed it. That is why he killed it. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Or because it's your best creature. One of the two. Hard to say which though, you know? It's really a confusing subject. I guess we're at a high enough life total where you can't no. really attack, right? No, if he attacks, we block with a snake. Yeah. <laughs> that seems, seems terrible. Good. You said it seems good. It seems good for us. That's what I meant. See you later, Dimitri. Upheaval would be annoying, but I don't think they had it considering they just played something. Oh, they don't have any extra red? So I can play Yori Yorion and Blink, Shriek Maw, and Rexage. It's pretty good, right? So we're like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was like, wait, how are you blinking them? With Yorion, I just said that. I named the card. Oh, the card we don't have. Got it. Amateur hour. And even if we did, we don't have the colors for it. So. P and Karen Alar is pretty annoying here. Yeah, it solves the death take. The death to snake. Touch. The death take. <laughs> the death take. It solves the death take. It solves the death eater. The Dementor problem. Yeah, like in prison. You know. The, me the Dementors are my least favorite part of prison. Oh God, something's happening. God, they just keep drawing. Yep, that's pretty good. Seems decent. No, they just like shoot your, shoot your bros, take an extra turn. Well, I guess the, they don't have a mana to do 
both, right? Can the god escape soon? No, not yet. I think it's five. Even though it could, I don't think it'd do much for us. Draws us a card, puts a six six on the board. Draws us a card every time it attacks, gains us three life every time it attacks. I don't can't really attack with it though. Why not? Because they just like throw a bunch of dudes under it. Okay. Then I trade like a then I like draw a card, gain three life, and four for one them. What do you want from me, man? Are there Ikoria yeah, cards? Yeah, so I don't think so, no. True. It's way too soon. I thought you killed my Ophiomancer. It's wild. It's a wild ride we're on. Restart. You restarting your phone? Yeah. What's your juice level at? I don't know. Hmm. I brought my charger down, so we're all good. Oh, wow. Well. You can plug it in here, you know. You can plug it in over there like a weirdo. I didn't know if you had one or not, so I just brought mine down. No, I mean, like, you can plug your charger in here. Oh. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? I don't know, They man. killed my elf? That's what they killed? Instead of the death touch snake? Oh, I guess you they still have... can. What did they sack there? Oh, a mirror. Those guys, yeah. I guess that, that is better than They're a thopter. Better. They can't tap them, but I don't think that's relevant anymore. They can't tap who? They can't tap him for the mirror's ability. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Yikes. Actually, right, I wonder what he's going to copy. Oh, man. Who saw oh, that what coming? What a shocker. You got any Wrath of Gods? Any Damnation? We got Toxic, right? Yeah, we still have Toxic Deluge. That would be pretty good here. When the taste of your lips, I'm on the run. Taste your what? I don't know, man. Don't worry about it. It's pretty spirit. I swear I heard taste of your nips. It's definitely not nips. Well, I know that's not the song, but it sounds like it's what you It's not said. nips, Michael. Just stop it. You're being inappropriate on the 69 draft. <laughs> My bad. It was your bad. It was your bad. You're bad, and you should feel bad. You should feel bad. I don't think we're winning this game, man. Buddy, I heard nips. Wow. This is wild. Uh, So it's a 10, huh? Hoping to draw a toxic deluge for seven. I'll go to four, and that's okay. Gonna eat your thing. My juice level's 86. We good. That's too, that's too high, man. Oh, it's a vendillion click. One, two, three, and four. Get rid of one, two, three, four, five. Done. That's so loud. What was that? What up? <laughs> Mike B should get purple nip rings. Hmm. Good gravy, man. I'll consider it. Will you consider that? Not very long, but... <coughs> All right, we're just going to go. So sword doesn't seem good here because of the color studers. Do you want to put in Tyrant? Tyrant really does anything. I mean, it's a fat hexproof boy. Maybe it's not good. I don't know. Yeah, but they're not like targeting our stuff anyway. It's just a thick wall, you know. It's a, it's a six. I mean, like, 
Do we need a six mana wall? You oh, think? Ultimate price not good either, right? No, man, it totally kills their PN Kieran Alar. <laughs> I guess that would have actually been super relevant last game, though. Scoring a couple planes in the Vindicate. No. A wise choice. Interesting. You know what I wish I had right now? Some Hungry Howies with the Magic Crust. What's the Magic Crust? Is that one of their flavors? Magic? Lotus off the top. Give me that Lotus off the tippity top. Actually, that could be okay, depending on what they do. Ideally, they do nothing. It's heroin. Wow. Oh, God. That's dark. That's really dark, mate. Hey, man. Huh. I'll give you a dollar to sort some raspberry lemonade in your mouth. Make it five dollars. Forget it, I retract my offer. For a dollar? Come on, man. Hey, man, you're drinking up my juice. Drinking up my juice! That's your idea, man. Wow, Flamton Kava got hit? Here's what we're doing, guys. I wish I could get some of the Commander 2020 products today. Yeah, I hear they're pretty <sighs> sold out. Are you really going to kill this in response instead of like... No, it's never. Never, dude. You're never going to take a hit off this guy, right? Oh yeah, double hypnotic specters. Hope they don't play pyroclasm. That'd be pretty good here. I don't know why they would. It's a weird. That'd be a weird include. I mean, we we had some pretty low dirtles. <laughs> Disgusting. I mean, so did they. They had P and Kieran Alar. They had uh, Mirror Battle Star, which makes one ones. Yeah, that's true. I guess so. Probably not. Oh. oh god. They had the better one. Uh, fashionably late to the party, Lotus. I mean, unless it's treachery. Well, I was going to questing beast. Oh. Well, let's just do that, too. What is this clip? So let's go add one of you, subtract one of you. I just want to make sure we have enough for... For my nipples. Man <laughs> it's not what I meant to say. It's not what I meant to say. It was an awkward thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Manipulations. <laughs> my God, it's so awkward. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, definitely kill that in response. God. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, God. I'm just going to leave now, guys. I'm sorry. That was pretty good. You talking about my nipulations? <laughs> yeah. Are we listening to their thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> we have telekinesis. <laughs> oh, God. I mean telepathy, not telekinesis. They're yeah, man. We can't move things with our minds, Michael. Maybe you can't, loser. Can you? Yeah. I want to see it. Show me. It takes too much out of me. Can't show you right now. You just went out.
Oh, that's weird that they didn't do it in response. Because now they can't. What are you doing? You looking up telekinesis? Yeah. I'm just checking out your thread. Yeah, it's... About that... This guy that's just... It's actually... It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's pretty... There's a thread on my on my Facebook post about my Cool Stuff article, and it's just like, I, I, I'm having a hard time like trying to figure out how it even exists. You'll do anything to avoid a mic. Oh, well, oh, they have incinerate. That's... <sighs> so I was like, oh, cool. They can't kill my questing beast. Just kidding. Oh, my God. This guy just talks in fucking circles. It's really... It's really something. It's really wi it's wild, dude. Yep, now they kill my rat. Well, Toxic Deluge could be good here. one card in hand shut up and take my money oh boy they're in like facebook troll text adam you've been super generous today man i appreciate you buddy two let's two it up We do need another green source here for this ooze, otherwise they just firebolt it. <coughs> yep, that seems fine. You get to keep one card. <coughs> here comes the Rona jokes. Mm. They have no. You discarded Battle Sphere, but you kept Thran Dynamo. What? Well, I'll say what, mate? No cards in hand? What's going on, man? I don't know. I guess we'll play Ophiel Mancer, get a free snake, and then they can firebolt it. I don't know, man. This is a weird matchup. I would love another another blue. I love a tropical island so I can go treachery, steal their thing, untap all my things, play scavenging, use the thing. That's all I want. They should bring back Madness as a mechanic. I was a big fan. They did. Yeah, there was just Madness recently, actually. I can't name the set, but it was One, pretty good. Yep, cool. He can't name the set. <coughs> but it was pretty recent. Also, there's a bunch of Madness cards in last year's Commander product, too. Well, now I feel safer playing Scavenging Use when they have Firebolt is gone. What's your favorite mechanic? Uh, my favorite mechanic is probably uh, cycling or like kicker I think is really good because kicker gives you kicker gives your cards like more value so if you draw like a, a deal two damage card on turn seven it actually does something is a uh, cruel ultimatum mecha a mechanic yeah cruel ultimatum is a mechanic nice that's your favorite mechanic the cruel ultimatum itself yeah
I'm a big fan of anything that has a lot of synergies. I'm a big fan of Cruel Ultimatum on the on the synergy. What train. about Evergreen? I like Trample. I bet you do. I bet you do. Give me something good here. Just come on. Like this is ridiculous. I'll fashion late to the party. It doesn't actually do anything right now. Hey man, we got them on a four turn clock. Well, they got a wandering fumarole, so they, they lost. They might forget. Well, maybe. Flying? What about Evergreen? Um. <sighs> come on, dude. This is ridiculous. Top decks have been pretty good. From my viewing, Frank's favorite mechanic is Screw or Flood. God damn. Okay, well, if I draw blue, I can steal that. <sighs> There's neither a blue nor a card you can cast. Seems good. It does not seem that. Oh, we're having a good time, having a good time. Well, it's about winning, more about 69 in WoW. It's true. It's <laughs> not appropriate. They didn't do anything? All right. Oh, thank goodness. That'll help us in the future. Salt in the 69 doesn't seem fun. Oh, God. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Hmm. That's a sentence. Yeah. Oh wow, they didn't even they were just like, I'm just not letting you draw anything. Three mana draw three cards? Not bad. No, it ain't. It's a pretty good. Little Jace Boy never stood a chance. Okay, so they just don't have anything now? Alright, thank goodness I don't have to draw that shitty swamp. Two more swamps, right? Okay, we're got a fetch line, that's nice. Put you on top. A4, yeah, 100%. Shuffle that piece of shit out of here. Get a tropical island. Imagine the tempo of magic if every basic just had cycle. Not come in tap, just all lands have cycling so you never flood. That's what I've actually proposed that before. Have you? Yeah. Like, hmm. it should, they all basics should just have three mana cycle because in the late game, like, it benefits all decks equally, pretty much. I mean, like, control decks obviously have an advantage, but, like, even burn decks. Like, in a burn deck, you don't want to draw your your lands on turn five, so you yeah, can just cycle them. Nothing. You're going to counter this? You're going to activate it. Yeah, I guess it might be too good for the, the land decks, but those are only really decks in, like, Legacy, right? Well, I'm just going to trade my snake for this wandering fumarole if that's what you want. <clears throat> but I don't feel like the land decks have enough mana to actually cycle, though, right? Like, a lot of land decks are just like... I mean, they naturally play a lot of lands, so they'd probably get there. Naturally. Well, I feel like we may get a game three here, guys. Okay. Hey. hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. God, I almost want the Vindicate. <laughs> it's 100% too greedy, though. Yeah, now will we play like three planes and make our mana base? Garbage? I think we definitely need to take one of these out for another island. Because we just have Vendillion Collect. Like, all, of our, all of our blue cards cost two blue, and like we just don't need this many black sources. Okay. Excuse me! You do not know my life. Just make it a cube roll, then. All basics have cycling. Hmm. That'd be interesting. That's not bad. I mean, we, what did we see? We saw Porcelain Legionnaire, which would this... This can actually kill Porcelain Legionnaire. The only thing this can't kill is like, yeah, actually, this, this is not terrible. You can't kill Battle Sphere, but that's, that's pretty, pretty much it, though. It does kill P and Kieran Alar, which is relevant. Uh, it kills Flame Tongue Kavu, Glorybringer. Oof, this is pretty bad. It is a bad hand. So is this, but I'm not gonna. I think it's slightly better than the other one. It's still fucking terrible. <laughs> True. 
I mean, if we draw, like, Findhorn Elves, b double blue cards. <laughs> oh, Lord. Why do I bother? Man. You pretty much have the best looking magic I've ever seen. It's terrible. Oh, I meant the opposite of that. Fitz, good seeing you, buddy. <clears throat> it's unreal, dude. It's it's actually shocking to me. Like, it shocks me. Like, if you do the math, Dang it just you. doesn't add up. I agree. Fitz with the resub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, dude. I hope your baths have been wonderful. Hello, Hunter. Goodbye. <laughs> See you later. Oof. Are you talking about the brown oof? <laughs> you know I am, buddy. Wow, that's wild. <laughs> Can't even get one blue for that, huh? I guess their plan is hope they play a big dumb artifact. We sage it and equip sword and hope that's, to win out that. Yeah, that's all I want to do. That's their only game plan. You should play against me because I'm not unlucky. But my opponents are all insanely lucky. Like, it's funny because we took a swamp out to add an island. And we still opened on four four swamps. Which literally might be all the swamps in the deck. Frank, there's only three swamps. No, we we put one on the bottom. Oh, right. Dang it, you're right. It was literally four swamps, forest, sword, <laughs> hero's downfall. Yep, Rex Sage. Coming, coming in clutch. It's only a two for one... I guess. Tell you what, I'll try the next Bicycle rule and cube next time. See how it turns out. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, I have no idea when the next time I'm going to be Cuban is, though. My name is Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the Michael B. <laughs> Only Michael B is the king of Michael B. False. Wow. Play it as a man, Yeah, that's such bad value. <laughs> Rex staging is... A solemn is just so bad. It's not good. It's called desperation. Hopefully the sword's just good enough to win, though. Isn't your king reopening your country soon? <laughs> <laughs> Christ, I hope not. Okay. Thran Dynamo. I hope if he really tries to force Fire that the governors stand the ground and don't. I'm pretty sure they're already doing that. Oh, gee, sweet baby Jesus. I'm going to equip it in response to its trigger. Yeah, I think businesses here are already doing it. Which is real not cool. And I really don't want to go back to an office. Five swamps. That literally has to be all of them. <clears throat> oh my god, a one mana cube sounds ridiculous. That's got to be Thank weird. Thank you. Oh, Chains Addiction. Thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. One, two. I don't know what this is. Please give me a blue source off the top of my deck. Just one time. One blue source actually puts us in a real good position because then we can untap and play Vendillion Click too. <gasps> Let me get a good one. Looks like we hit on the river, boys. Let's not equip it, though. Oh, yeah, that'd be bad. It would be absolutely horrendous. I think they call that a pro gamer move. It's not. No, oh, it's like the ironic version. Really? Yeah. Tell me more, Michael. Let's see what you got, my dirtle. Vault, Glorybringer, Banishing Light. Let's get rid of Banishing Light and leave you with a bunch of shit that doesn't do anything. Seems good. All right. We got Flame Tongue, Glorybringer. One red, though. Well, two red, I guess. So you can go Glorybringer, Flame Tongue. That's eight damage. That does not kill Kazi Boy. We could also. I'm an essential worker and I work in a room with over 100 people. Oh. Yikes. Oh, that's what they drew? Oh, good. That's great. They played... So we know their whole hand. So we know they don't have an answer to Kozilek. Wow. I 100% equip the sword there because I'm bad. Fair. Nice. <laughs> I'm like, equip sword, and they're like, do do do. thanks for my Kozilek back, nerd. And I'm like, oh, dang it. <coughs> uh, 
flame tongue combo. It's going to kill the Vendillion Click, I presume. Are there instant speed responses to treachery after the resolution? Yeah, there's plenty. Sure. And if we get attack and attack, and I think we're doing pretty good. I agree. So flame tongue's gone. So we know ancient tomb Glorbringer. We know your whole hand. You don't do shit. Wow, being able to nab that banishing light was clutch arena. What up, Smokey Loki? Doing pretty good. It's Friday. It is Friday, my dudes. What? Really? This dude's getting in there? No. I'm He's wrong. getting in the dumpster. The only thing I am afraid of is getting a boner. <laughs> That's a good quote. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good one. What do we even get? There's so many possibilities. Well, now our our options are limitless. I'm going to annihilate you, brah. Annihilate. Crap, Friday. I have 10 pages of essays to write tonight. Oh, yikes. Oh, wow. Getting rid of one of each <coughs> basic, huh? 10 pages is quite a bit. What's our best card? Lotus? Let's just get Lotus. Oh, we can also play Euro from the graveyard once you demonic to Euro. That's pretty insane. I assume the Lotus was a joke. Correct. Actually, we can't because we need one more mana. Um, I think if we kill Thran Dynamo, it might be a good check. Actually, they have a slow... they'll still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, but it gets rid of an artifact. How about Meta? So oh, five mana. I was gonna say Metamorph, but that doesn't that doesn't do yeah, that'd it. That'd be bad. Well, if you kill their Dynamo, they actually lose four mana because of Academy. right. But it still leaves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah. So I mean, getting rid of four only puts. Let's let's. How about Jace the Mind Sculptor? Sure. I want a Popeye spicy chickens, spammy for chicken Sunday. That's this idiot. My only problem with the Popeye's chicken Sandy, was they didn't put enough spicy mayo on it. Oh, I didn't get enough spicy mayo on my little Sandy. I'm just saying, man, it was dry. Dry. Yeah. If if the, if the spicy mayo is the only thing making your chicken sandwich not dry, then your chicken sandwich is that then it has more than just that as a problem. I remember it not being great. That's all. I had one too, and I still thought Chick Fil A was better. Yeah, Chick Fil A's chicken is just on a higher level. Bring me a higher level. Oh. Okay, Grim Model is your draw, so now we know you have. Wait. Oh, they played a mountain. So now we know you have Ancient Tomb Grim Lava Mancer as your last two cards. Sure. Think he's going to get there with enough damage? I do not. <clears throat> also, though, Bring with fast food. Me a love. Whoa. You like that song? I only had their sandwich once, so it could have just been like a you know, a bad fast food experience. Happened. Jesus, good gravy. Too bad it's chicken and hatred. Yeah, true. Agreed. Agreed. I felt bad when I got it the other day. <laughs> she still did it. Yeah, but I haven't gone in a long time, so overall uh, I'm not giving them much money. I guess that's fair. It's a it's a rare treat. I was also tempted the other day. I was just like, I want something different. Like it's the quality's high, man. The I hate to say just, it, but like oh, they're so crispy. I haven't been to Chick Fil A in like two years. Oof. Yeah, I haven't been in probably like a year myself until the last. Wednesday or Thursday or whatever it was. All right, my opponent tried to Kozilek, and we were like, no, nah, dude, treachery. So this is what, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is 14 mana still. <laughs> Jesus, crying out loud. Artifacts dude. are a fair and balanced. Magic cards. Yeah. Well, we got a block now, so. What do you block with? Grimmy Boy? Okay. The people at Chick-fil-A are so friendly, it kind of creeps me out. I could see that. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> they have to say it. I know. It's not their fault, but. It is their fault. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Bring me a higher mic. Whoa. Annihilator eight, and they still have 14 mana? Yeah, it's kind of nuts. I will put you on you. I mean, I don't feel like there's much they can draw here that really saves them. Also, surprisingly, the Chick-fil-A here is, like, super efficient, even though they're always packed. I mean, I'm sure they drew Mere Battlesphere because that's what they need to draw at this juncture. 
Oh, they had a faceless, face, faceless looting. Faceless. I want to take his face off. No more drugs for this man. You know what that's from? Probably The Office. No, Michael, it's from fucking Face Off. The movie Face Off. Jesus. I wasn't really paying attention. I just randomly guessed The Office because there's like a good chance I hit. <laughs> it's a good chance I hit. It's like naming, hey man, what's the next card your library? And you just name Basic Lamb because, wow, really? That's wild. Oh, they discarded their ancient tomb? A wise choice. So they get one draw here. If you're ever guessing a quote that Frank says, it's either from The Office or Jurassic Park, probably. It was from Face Off, Michael. I know it was, but I'm just saying in general. Michael, it's from the movie Face Off with Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. Yes, I've seen it like four times. Wow, but you didn't even know the quote? I wasn't paying attention, man. I didn't really hear you. And even then, I'm stupid, so I probably wouldn't have anyway. We won this match because our opponent's cause luck was too great for them. Greatness at any cost. Um, we, did, we weren't playing Dark Confidant, man. No, but the quote applies because they were trying to keep greatness with their cost <laughs> and it backfired. <laughs> yeah. Do we keep this? I don't know. How good is turn one Thran Yogmoth when you only have one? Uh... I don't think it's good. Because, <sighs> oh, like, our other option is what? Turn one click? We could Demonic Tutor or turn one for a, for a land. land. <laughs> and then we have. And then we play a land, and then we have And then it's three. basically mulling to six. Yeah, I think we mull. Yeah, this is much better. This is much better. Put back swamp? Yeah. Well, I'm not putting back a green or a blue, Moochel. I mean, if we hit land, land, like... Oh, yeah, face off. That movie where the one guy took the other guy's face off. It's funny, but it's true. We spared no expense. <clears throat> Stupid people. Yeah, don't. it's Mulligan. <laughs> Got him. Stupid people don't win poker tournaments, Michael. I'm flattered, but they're the most of them pretty bad. I'm not like a professional or anything. I just play. I just play good starting hands and play conservatively. That's really all I do. And then when it gets late game, I just start being a little more aggressive because you can take advantage of my tight image. That's really all I do every game. Hey, man, don't talk about your tight image on the stream, man. That's. Hey, guys, you want to see my tight image? <laughs> Any new poker wins? Yeah, he. Well, no, not a win, but he came in second last night and won like 100 bucks again. That's good enough for me, man. Yeah, I mean, like. you. I mean, like. I'll if, I can, if I guarantee second every game, down. Yeah, because you end up profiting like 100 bucks. And it's like, if you do that five nights a week, like, that's an extra 500 bucks a week, man. I did buy in twice though, so I only profited like sixty or whatever. But it's still pretty good. Didn't wasn't it one twenty? Yes, I'm stupid. Yeah, so your profit was eighty then. Yeah, yeah, right. That's pretty good. And yeah, not bad. Oh, went from went from. You know what? Do we Ophiomancer or do we Uro here? Two bullets is kind of greedy though, but I felt like I was in a good position. Uro, because I want to be able to acidic slime next turn if uh, if we hit another land here. Yeah, like against a random field of just average poker players, like looking up a start chart, a uh, hand for a uh, chart for starting hands. If you don't know too much, a about chart, that. a chart for starting hands. Looking up what you should play in what position, and then just playing conservative when you're early in the tournament because bluffs are less valuable early on. Question: I poker. How do you play it like a man? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. <clears throat> I wish I had the money to donate my deck because it's literally insane. Show us your deck, bruh. Bring me a Michael B. Whoa. 27-8 so far and 8-1 versus Just Guy Fires. Hmm. That's a pretty good record. Land? Ooh, wee. Biscuit City. Biscuit City. Do, do, do. do I get a second black or a second blue? That's the question. I think a second blue because i think tropical island is probably better here and i think we're just acidic sliming this shambling vent yeah i like that oh i guess we can't get a black anyway so it's default 
I also we can also questing beast Inquisition, which I kind of like. Um, yeah, but they they have a death toucher. So was that? Oh, wait, they can't block it because there you yeah. go. Questing beast. God, there's so many words on that card. It does a lot of things. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I think let's, that might be better. Let's see if we whiff. I heard thought Flash was banned in Commander. Thoughts? Uh, it seems like a pretty easy ban. It only helps the competitive community and doesn't hurt the casual players because, like, 99% of casual players don't play Flash. That's my take on it. And it makes the competitive format a lot more healthy. As ironic as that is. Spear to say. Giver Bone Shredder. Let's get rid of Bone Shredder. Beep, beep. <clears throat> so their answer to Questing Beast is gone. Oh, there's a little deck. A huge different? I don't even think that makes any sense. No, not Flash the Mechanic, the card Flash. The actual magic card titled Flash. They banned Flash cards? What? <clears throat> now that would be crazy. Why would you do that? To B -b -b Bone Shredder. I, you know, I don't know. All right, Planes is gone. Spear. Oh, Spear lets this block our guy. That's pretty wild. But then I just get to Acidic Slime, kill it, and then I get to attack again. So, oh, that's what they're doing. If they ban flashcards, how am I going to learn Spanish now? Misa bans flashcards. <laughs> what are you, Jar Jar? You said if they ban flashcards. Shut up, Michael. They're going to get in there. Oh, they're getting in there. That's aggressive. So why was it banned? Uh, because of the interaction with Protein Hulk. So you use Flash. You pay two mana. You get to put your Protein Hulk into play for free. You do not pay the extra to let it live. You let it die. Maybe it's trigger don't. resolves. When it dies, and it lets you get... When it dies, it dies. When it dies, you get... He didn't like that. CMC converted mana cost of six or less, so you can get a bunch of different creatures, and you just instantly win the game with them. If you want to know more, just Google... If you want to know more, head on over to our website <laughs> at michaelb.commander slash flash. Yeah, basically, flash instantly wins the game, but if you want to know more, you look up... Uh, look up Flash Hulk Commander, and you will find it. Or you can look up, uh, you can type Google Sushi Hulk. That'll give you a deck list. Sushi Hulk? Yes. God, everything's about sushi with you, isn't it? Oh, I guess you take my Ophiomancer. None of the guys can get past the Questing Beast. Have you ever heard of such a thing? That's wild, mate. I'm sure someone in the chat can post a link to the combo or explain it better than I can. Do you think your dad can? Oh, okay, said Commando Hulk. I don't know what that... Yeah, there's actually like three or four different combos you can do to end the game. Some of them involved, if you're playing white, your opponents actually can't interact with it. Like, they actually have no chance to interact unless they counter the flash. Yep. All right, so that's gone. Did you not play a land that turn? Fascinating. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I mean, I'll definitely attack with both of these. <coughs> Interesting that they banned Flash before they banned Superman. Oh, we got jokes. <laughs> <coughs> uh, now we know who's really the most OP Justice League member. It's true. Yeah, majority, like 90% 90, 90 of Commander players are playing more casual, fun games. It's pronounced cash. More cash. My bad. Hey, man. Yes, Michael. So I'm going to show you a picture. Oh, God. And you tell me how good you think the, the level of player this guy is. Low. <laughs> Super low. <laughs> that's like the guy at the home. Oh, that's the that's the dude 
okay, that's the dude who has like a magic collection and you tell him you play magic. Like you would, you know, you or I, mm -hmm. and we'd be like, Oh man, I used to play magic. I used to be real good. You want to see my green deck? Yeah. And definitely. you're like, Oh, your green yes. deck. And then at that moment you realize you are on a completely different level of the game than this player. And no offense. You know, surprisingly he's, he's definitely not the worst player. Okay. But, uh, not great either. He's the guy that that's good enough. He's as good as you can be without doing any sort of cursory research, research yes. into a game yes, or a subject. He has a solid understanding of the game. He's clearly been playing a while, but he doesn't know he doesn't know what hand selection to right. pick. Uh, he doesn't know. He's what, gone as far as he can go without like doing putting any effort into he it. He doesn't know the value of his draws, like how much they're worth. Like he doesn't know when he should just fold because the value is terrible for him. Things like that. You gotta know when to fold them. Know when to hold them. Know when your Michael B. I mean, and you, where's your you dad? You might play pretty lazily, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I would love to draw some lands here. That would be... Or not some non-lands, rather. Jace the Mind Sculptor would be really uh, a preferable draw for me. Is that rain? No, probably not. No, I think that was a water. I think that was a water. <laughs> it's like a whole... One a whole, whole water, water, Michael. I basically should have said nothing. Hey, man. You should open that window just a little bit. Not a person that understands implied equity? Correct. They have no idea what equity, equity in poker means at all. And, like, they don't have... Re they don't know resource management and, like, magic. Like, you don't understand why, like, uh, a, a dual land... Like, a mox is better than a land. You right, know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. Same thing. Same theory. Yeah, yeah. They just don't understand the value. If of they see a 3-3 three, three on the board and they have a lightning bolt, they're going to kill it immediately no what, without, yeah. without like, With no evaluating yeah, it yeah. right. Yeah. Or worse, they're just going to bolt your face because they're like, well, I could kill them. Or if you attack with like a 4-4 four, four, and they have a 1-1 one, one out, they'll block it immediately. Yeah, with no concern. Just to yeah, prevent yeah. 4 damage. I mean, you don't even have to know equity in poker to be better but my friend is like that with magic it is sometimes hard to play with him because i feel as if i that's i do that all the time like if yes. i play against those people and i have like a dominating mm -hmm. hand i'll like play it out really slowly or like i'll refuse to like kill his creatures when i can do it just because i feel bad yeah I'm just one time like, uh Derek perkins who you know invited me to a group of a like a, a a casual tabletop game so i was like okay i'm not going to take something super competitive i just put together like a a fun <laughs> deck but it was still like insanely good right because it's like it's hard to turn that off completely and even if i'm playing one of their decks it's hard to turn off my competitive side of the game like it's hard for me like i'm not a professional oh magic player but i'm still gonna play my best as where they're just yeah. kind of just you know flinging spells once i started watching pros play on a higher level i feel like i was everywhere i feel like everyone everyone is that way but once you start watching pros play that's your first effort to put in research and like external um like effort right like like as soon as you do that like you've taken that step you're no longer right you're investing into the the game right oh wow just that guy huh really you go to 11 that's wild yeah i've spent countless hours watching poker vids and i've read two poker books and just because i enjoy the game It's a I don't know how to have fun playing Magic. What does that mean, Katie? Do you mean you're too serious when you play? Attack your face. There's no point in attacking with this guy because then they just block and give pro. Oh, yeah. God, Questing Beast is so friggin' good. Katie, I agree with you. I well, I, no, I don't think I, I don't I don't know not know how to fun playing magic. I don't know how to fun have fun playing like that that casual like I'll play my one one and you'll play my two two. I don't know how that 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 game is not fun for me, which is why I think a lot of like basic set drafts don't appeal to me as much as cube drafting because it's just it's so much more intricate and like in involved. There's so many more interactions. It's difficult for me to play casually because I really only competitive play or enjoy competitive play, so I can't just pick up and play. I want to be. Uh, sure that still doesn't we're in the blocking phase <laughs> I 
That's not going to do anything. There was a one time at a pre-release I played against a girl with Down Syndrome who had like a 70 card deck. After I won, she broke down and cried and ran out. Oh, that's oh, rough. Oh, that's rough. Super awkward. K is just a game. <laughs> Doc, I feel like you're uh, I feel like you're referencing something, my dude. Me, pl me red player, me. Bolt face good. Yeah. I think I get rid of Vampire Nighthawk over Giver of Runes, right? Like... Oh, yeah, there's nothing worse than the people who are competitive who aren't willing to teach the new players. No, like, they just be giver here. crush someone and don't explain any plays. They don't offer a handshake. They're just... Like, those people are just awful. Actually, surprise, Super Fritz, surprisingly, Mike doesn't actually know how to read. That's the that's, that's why he likes poker a lot, because he doesn't have to... There's not a lot of... Uh, yeah, there's just pictures on it's just <laughs> Yeah, it's just pictures like and, another, like, one letter like, or, or number on each... Two, two red cards with the... The square that's turned like kind of sideways. <laughs> when you have two of those, you're like, oh, if I hit three more cards with with the squares that are turned sideways, that's a flush. So that's good, you know? It's like it's difficult for me to play casually because I really only enjoy competitive play, so I don't so I can't just pick up and play. I want to regularly I want to play regularly and grind if I'm not going if I'm not going to play at all. Yeah, I feel that. It's also like that's why it's kind of awkward playing oh, commander Jesus for me sometimes out loud. because now I wish I did kill the stupid giver of runes. Even my more casual commander decks are still like tuned and try to win the game, so it can be really awkward. Well, that's pretty good. Now we can't race this now because they just deal four a turn. Not as bad as the people who offer you advice because you're a woman who is more knowledgeable about the game than me. All yeah, yeah, I that's. It must suck to be a woman playing Magic because there's so many of these dudes who are like, I'll teach you how to play. It's like, no, I've been playing for years. If you're skinny, I did get your email, and it is in the queue. I just, <clears> I, I totally forgot to respond. I thought I told you I got the email that day, but, oh, they didn't attack. I'd like to play Wait, poker with you, some, that's with you sometimes, Mike. I enjoy the game, but don't really have good people to learn from. Uh, I mean, if you add me on Facebook, you could probably be on our poker group if you want to play. Wallet also lives in Denver, so we can probably hang out with Wallet when we're in and we're in Denver. Oh, yeah. I could teach you plenty about the game, dude. I can teach you. I figured Mike liked poker because he's a math genius. This is rough because my opponent, my opponent said, apparently, I don't know how to assign blockers. And then he sa I said, oh, no, that's not you. That's Questing Beast. They said, huh, okay. And I think they thought they could block again. And I don't think they're even reading Questing Beast. And you could just be nice and type that to CMC. I mean, like me saying, oh, no, that's not a, that's not you. That's Questing Beast. I feel like that's me giving. That's a good enough. I, guess. I mean, so like. Aside from saying like, "Hey, put your make sure you attack with your creatures because you can't block them," like I feel like I'm only I can only do so much. But yeah, pre-releases are really fun. But when you get round one paired versus the person oh, dragged there with their friend, slime gets a friggin' counter too. The six-year-old, etc. And you're like, I don't want to make you feel dumb, but I need to explain why this is a bad play or, or this is a good play. Um, I think if you explain it nicely, to try oh, to help two or get less. There the we go. We figured it out. We figured it out. Reading the card explains the card. It's true. Man, this chat's going in two different directions. We got Mike on poker and me on the magic game. I'm trying to keep up with it. There's a lot of chats. I hate unsolicited advice from an opponent who beats you as well. Also, I feel like you should be able to tell when or when you shouldn't be able to give any advice. Like, it's very obvious to see when a player is new at the game. I once showed up to an LGS's EDH tournament with a pretty competitive Chain Veil to Fairy deck, and everyone else was playing casual decks, and it was just a bad time. Haven't played Commander since then. Well, yeah, but like it's a. I mean, if you show up to a tournament, I go to one. That's totally different. Like, if a tournament wants to be more casual, they should have a different ban list or a band know, list. Yeah. I mean, Rule Zero literally states like there's a social contract in Commander. If you're running a tournament and you want it to be a more fun-based tournament, you should change the ban list or inform people of the power level or something like that. I feel like that's a, oh. a gap, a problem with the tournament, not you. A problem with the gap? Yeah. You are falling to the gap? Oh, that kites out Freebooter for no value. If I can yeah, get... I mean, after your move, I'll look you up on Facebook, though. Yeah, just, just search Michael Bartholomew. You should find me. Or check f if you're friends with Frank, you can check his friends list. Yeah, he is. Ian, Ian's friends were just he never he's just never uses Facebook though. Which is honestly, I'm getting to a point where I'm like, that's probably better. <laughs> I still like it for the chat utility, basically. That's literally the only reason I open it most of the time, and it's just mindlessly scrolling for the rest of the time. And I'm just like, yeah, eh, I could do without this in my 
daily life. You also have like way too many friends. Well, uh, yeah, we'll use we'll put friends in quotes. Right, but yeah, I didn't mean real friends, but yeah, yeah. I don't mean real. Fr- you don't have real because friends. I think you had the problem where you were adding people to your. I was adding people to my personal account because right. I, because like it's good for exposure. Like right, like I'll post my articles to Facebook. The people who I've added who right, who support my content. You had like a public page though, right? Yeah, yeah. Which I don't even know if that was a thing back then. Yeah, it wasn't when I was doing it, but then like I stopped eventually, and and you still have a bunch of leftover like oh, that's, random that's people that have bad takes. Very good. Yeah, I mean, we I would love to play IRL poker. It adds a very different scenario to the game. It makes it a lot more fun, in my opinion, because it's social too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But we only have not enough green. Maybe they should specify the term as casual. You could call it something like CEDH for casual leisure. Well, CEDH usually means a different thing. I mean, do we win here? Like, I also feel like the length of time playing does not correlate to skill level. That's definitely true. Just because you've played a long time doesn't necessarily mean you're good at the game. Um, I'm actually just going to invo- evoke Shriek Maw here. True with magic and poker. So we can make a biogenic ooze token. Come on, Michael. Let's go party. The first and only EDH tournament I played in, there were about 12 people. So three pods, three guys that that no one had ever seen before showed up together. Uh, all were randomly put into one of the three pods, and they all proceeded to storm kill their pod on turn three. Yeah, like, you got to set <clears throat> rules for that. You got to set some basic ground rules. Oh, man, I should have actually played differently, because if they block here, then we could actually... Oh, no, we can still get it back. Okay. We got blue, blue, green, green. I was like, we could get back Euro. Come on, man. that's what I was hoping you would do. One, two, three, four. Yep. Because then they split the prize pool. Yeah, probably. Casual hold'em nights when everyone's buzzed are best poker nights. Yeah. I, I I really like an, a social game. Have a couple drinkies. <laughs> Get shit faced. Make bad plays. Yeah, that's generally how it goes. Get 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 Euro and the Jets. I always yield to both of these abilities. However, this turns out good game. I've played against too many people who thought they were so much better than me. With every play I make, they have to comment on how it's it was wrong play or, or without all the information. Most of the time, I proceeded to beat them because they don't realize what's going on. Yeah, the the overconfident magic slash poker players who actually don't know what they're doing because they really haven't put in the time and make snarky comments are just. There's a guy who plays poker with us who just like who does that actually at the tournament like at the game like he'll put in the chat like that's because you're garbage and I'm like yeah but dude you haven't finished better than fifth in any of our games like I don't think you're doing too hot yourself I hate people that are overconfident like that like the they don't have the skill to back up their confidence and that happens a lot in magic. Yeah, spirit of the game and commander is a reasonable complaint only if you have some kind of disclaimer explaining what it is. Otherwise, money commander just seems bad in general. Well, it's it's a it's a it's a power level problem. So like when you play against your opponents, you should all be playing on the same power level, or else it's just not going to be. It's just going to be a weird game. So if you're playing competitive decks, everyone should be on competitive decks, or else it's just going to be super awkward and lame. You're awkward and lame. That's true. Got him. I can't deny that. I actually think competitive commander is really fun if you're all on that same page because it's actually surprisingly really interactive because everyone's playing like counter spells and good removal and there's a lot of stack interaction and I, I can't stand players like that at that point it's not even about the game anymore it's about keeping the atmosphere of the game comfortable for everyone yeah yeah, making people feel bad about not being good at magic, like, what do you one. get out of that, dude? Yeah, true, like, yeah. It's like playing standard versus legacy, correct, yeah. 
That's for true. I think they give Silver the Paladin back here. I've played pods 4v1 and it wasn't fun or close. Yeah, I mean, yep. if you're playing a real competitive deck, you're just going to totally crush your pod. Boy, Questing Beast has been an MVP this game. Is an all-manager commander now? It sure feels like it. It's true. All games are commander now. I wonder if competitive commander would be more popular if things like dual lands and some of the reserve list mana rocks and storm cards were cheaper. I mean, I'm sure it would affect it. But I just think majority of people playing commander don't really want that anyway. I call it Dark Souls mentality. Many of those people are toxic. Or like League of, Le League of Legends mentality. What's that doing? What are you doing for us? I played in a Hold'em tourney in Windsor when I was 20, and there were a few dudes who tried trash-talking the, cas the casino straight through them out. Canada doesn't play when it comes to politeness. Nice. Like, there's no reason to be an asshole, basically, and it's not in the spirit of the game either. Now I'm talking about getting upset. I'm talking about being an actual piece of shit. Yikes. You know those guys. I've never even, I don't even heard what you're talking about. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Michael B lives in the trash can. An actual piece of shit, a room full of Hellmuth. Uh, this guy doesn't have trample, so there's no trample <clears throat> creatures we have. Hellmuth actually recently has been a lot. Over the last couple years, he's changed his tune very, very much so. It's his old age. He's gotten a lot nicer. Less blow ups. So I actually have to throw this guy out. Yep. That's fine. Also, the difference, at least Helmuth is an actual insanely good player, so he can kind of back up his talk. She'll be coming around the rat train when she comes. I don't know where that came from. Alexa, where does Michael B live? <laughs> Can't say B. Sorry, I don't see that triggered phrase. She doesn't understand B. Alexa, where does Michael live? Michael B lives in the garbage can. God, he sure I hope y'all heard that. He sure lives in the garbage can. Yeah, we just copy Nighthawk. Phil Hamilton realized he is, on fact, a shitty no limit hold'em cash player. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's definitely not that great of a cash player. He's definitely a tournament player, that's for sure. I mean, he'd still probably crush the majority of people, but. That's like, but that's like saying like someone with 10 G, 10 Pro Tour top eights is like, oh, he realized he was a terrible GP player. It's like, yeah, he did, but like, does that really matter? Like, yeah. who, who cares? Like, he's, he's good still, at the game like, at, at certain things. You I know? mean, you like, can still make an argument for Helmuth being the greatest of all time. So, he's definitely not my favorite player, though. That's for sure. I really like Negrano because he's fun and he seems like a cool dude. Me too, man. Me too. IMO, a big problem. The commander is the size of the format. I've been playing for 15 plus years and have had super old cards because of it. I would never buy a volcanic island nowadays. Yeah, you don't really need to. I mean, I don't blame you. Especially for a format that's... I mean, the, the thing is, like, if you buy a volcanic island now, it's still probably going to go up. It's just, it's not a card that's going to go down. It's an investment, so it's like, yeah. I mean, it's like, like, it's a weird thing. Of all the things in life I would spend $400 on, dual lands is probably one of the higher things because... It's always going to go up. Yeah, right? they've just shown no signs of... Unless you, of, like, I don't know rip it into shreds or something stupid happens well yeah or, but you can say that about anything really right yeah, yeah. the ground also has a six cents for cards it sure seems like it. he's he's really good at calling people's hands it's pretty nuts me too man me too no oh, we should play poker then oh wow no i'll just predict the cards they have that beat me and then they'll have them but so. you have no way to, to do anything about it oh good sun titan it's like you can call their hand but you never can beat it so it doesn't actually matter right as when the calls their hand and knows they're bluffing and calls and makes money. You know. Mm. 
Pretty sure they don't have a better card than Silverblade Paladin here to get four life. But... I can't stand Vanessa Selps. Why? Because <laughs> she's a woman. <laughs> I'm not going to assume that opinion. That seems a little rough. I think she's a fantastic player. She plays super aggressive, which could be annoying against, to play against. She's like bluffing a lot, and but I mean that's just her style. It's your style. I saw compilations of him literally saying the exact cards in hand. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. It's like it'll be like you have five seven offsuit, and you're like, how is that possible? How do you know that? Thank you. Rum Titan, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the resub. Welcome back. Yeah, the only thing that might cause physical card values to drop would be some sort of global event causing people not to be able to play together. <laughs> Oof, too real. Investment right, but when I play cards like Volk, Volcanic Island... Well, Eternal Format Experience is literally playing with Volcanic Island. There's two Eternal Formats in Magic. Command, oh, th well, three if you can include Commander with, but like the the two formats are Legacy and, and Vintage, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's get in there. Okay, you gotta block Sun Titan. Oh, wow. Selbs so is a huge bully and complains ridiculous. way too much. Um,. I don't know. I didn't get that experience, but it's just me, maybe. I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't watch that many tournaments. Even if they went block, block, they would take four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that would be that would be game. I didn't even need to do this. I have not touched magic cards in like six weeks. I would love to play some commander. Yeah, I brewed up two commander decks, and the world shut down. So begin. That was game one. Good gravy, man. Man, this toxic daily should have been wild. Also, I don't think Silps really plays anymore i think she's like a lawyer now and doesn't actually play that often shriek Ball still seems good and from my experience the most toxic players are often the ones that are at top of their game in casual play but then aren't good enough to t to break through into competitive events yeah that's probably pretty accurate <sighs> drag tusk seems okay here Man, I feel like if we had a way to splash Grim Lava Mancer, we could be like... Yeah, toxicity stops them from learning their mistakes and improving. The yeah. toxicity of our city! You know that song? Yeah, it's a good song. Okay. I'm trying to remember the name of the album. You know the album? The name of the album. Good lord, man. I have no idea. Uh... Oh, what is it? Is it off Hypnotize? No. Buddy, I don't, I don't know. think so. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Yeah, the ability to look inward and improve uh, is really hard for the overconfident players a lot. They don't like they they're really good at pointing out your mistakes, but they never think about their own mistakes, and that's a really big problem if you actually want to uh, improve in the game, whether any game at all really, or just life. The album is called Toxicity. It's the name of the both. Okay. Get a lot of super frets with his his wild knowledge. Um, I'm gonna keep this because of. And he's a sandwich artist. So much skill. It's amazing. He, he knows no bounds. We're gonna top deck a lotus, and that's gonna be pretty sick. Are you ready? Do you think when he makes sandwiches and he's throwing, he's putting pepper jack on the meatballs, you think he throws it from a distance, like, you know, like fancy? I can't imagine him not doing that. I have over thirty commander decks, all just collecting dust. Wow, that's that's a lot, man. Although I, that's not that uncommon to have like a crap ton of commander decks. Black Lotus into Questing Beast would have been magic as intended. That's that's what Richard yeah, Garfield wanted. Yeah, that's instead we get hymned. Ugh, brutal. I 
I think if I had the ability to have that many commander decks, I think I'd want about six and probably stop there. I believe in you. Too competitive for casual, probably. Or maybe one one competitive for five casual. I don't know. Filthy casual. <laughs> Yeah, I don't spend a lot on them. I have friends with who have one or two of their decks. Are, uh, oh, they, we have 15 minutes. They have four collection. minutes. Oh, wow. They have to win two games in four minutes and 38 seconds. I feel like we already have the victory, kind of. Losing a land and a beast <laughs> in one AM physically hurts me. A beast! Can you can you metamorph things that are in the graveyard? Duress. Oh, so I get you to negate your duress here. That's pretty cool. I just don't have the magic collection to build 30 cards. I just physically don't have that many magic cards. He physically does not have the magic cards. Something, something, Michael B. Also, spending a bunch of money, uh, money on magic cards right now seems like a pretty bad idea. At least for me personally. Although prices have been a lot lower than they have before, so I don't blame anyone for investing. Ooh, Rick! Sounds like drawing land. It felt so good. It's a quick land. It's the fastest land you've ever seen. Dingleberry. I can't believe you didn't see how... Thoughts on Opus Thief with Underworld Breach li uh, lines as new CDH meta? What the hell's an Opus Thief? Uh, it's a commander deck where your partners are a Vile Smasher and some other guy. You know what Vile Smasher is? No. So he's the three. he's a three drop. He's a two two. Uh, whenever you fa cast your first spell each turn, you deal damage equal to its CMC to a opponent at random. Uh, but the reason that's good is you put uh, like um, uh, effects on it that like make you draw a card whenever you do damage. T -t -t -today, Junior. You know what I'm talking about? What is that effect called? Curiosity? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You put a curiosity effect on it and you, you gain value off those. Uh, it's called Keen Sense. That was a green one, I think. Uh, I think that deck's very good. I think it'll be great. I still think uh, we're killing it. We're drawing. We're drawing TNT this bonkers is just cards be here. The best deck still. It's TNT. It's also, Dino Might. Also known as Thrasios and Timna combo. I still think that's probably the best deck to be on. Guys, in case you were wondering, slam those like and subscribe buttons if you guys are watching on Twitch. Followers, subscribe. They help the channel immensely. Uh, be sure to check out manatraders.com. They have an awesome subscription service for Magic Online where you can rent modern cards, standard cards, pioneer cards, whatever you're looking for. And with the link and promo code down below, you can get 20% off uh, any subscription. So be sure to check that out. Cool stuff, Inc. every Wednesday. And you can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. Every Wednesday, I have new articles. And uh, patreon.com slash Frank Laporte. If you want to donate $1 or $2 a month to support the channel, $1 or $2, you can go to patreon.com. It's like the easiest way to support the channel. And it gives you a, a feeling of completeness for having, for having watched all this content for free. And then they can take $1 out of your bank account every month. It's like nothing. You won't even notice it's gone. Thank you for the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.